Where are your skates? My skates? Yeah, well, I, I was just taking a morning constitutional when I saw you sitting here in the dappled sun. Well, if you get your skates, we could take a spin on the pond. Oh, well, that's a lovely invitation, but to do that, I would need a secret potion rubbed on my ankles. Uh, oh. Well, then I guess you're just going to have to, uh, admire me from afar. Mm -hmm. That hasn't been hard to do in the past, now has it? I'm going to offer you a, a, a counter-invitation. Join me at the Crystal Ball tonight as my guest. The Crystal Ball? No, 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 I can't well, do that. What do you mean, no, no, no? Why, why, why can't you? Well, I'm quite sure that uh, Edmund would like me to be very conspicuous in my absence. As, as I remember, that didn't stop you last year when you showed up sort of directly from jail. Well, that's because Bianca tricked me into going because Bianca wanted me to be all dolled up. Right. Yes, well, all right. Anyway, I had been wearing this potato sack prison uniform, you know, for six months, and I, I wanted to, to feel alive again. And anyway, I think that's all the more reason why this year I should cede the spotlight to Edmund and Maria's charity. Oh, I, I see. Well, I totally disagree. Uh, please, please. Uh, look, the media will take more notice of the ball if you're there, so bringing you to it is going to be my contribution to charity. Well, I think you should just write a big fat check, as I do. I can't let Pine Valley's most celebrated woman stay home and bring in the new year in a chenille robe and curlers. I wouldn't be caught dead in a chenille robe, let alone curlers. Well, neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what do you say? I mean, we're both without escorts. We can bring in the last year of the 20th century together. Dimitri! Hi. I've uh, been looking all over for you. Oh. Erica, so well. you're all dressed up for the pond. I hope you don't venture too close to thin ice. Oh, well, now, isn't that funny? That's exactly the advice I was going to give you. Oh, look. Isn't that a sweet sort of hunter-ski thing you've got going there? That's really nice. Where, where do you keep your pistol? <laughs> oh, I can get to it when I need it. Anyway, uh, Dimitri, they told me that I might find you here, and, um, I wanted to give you the honor of escorting me to the Crystal Ball tonight. <clears throat> oh, poor Brooke. As usual, you're a day late and a dollar short. Dimitri just invited me to be his guest at the Crystal Ball this evening, and I have accepted. After he asked me. Well, too bad for me then. And lucky Dimitri, I guess that old saying is still true. Early bird, worm. Oh. I'll see you tonight, Dimitri. Bye, Brooke. So long, Kanya. <laughs> Look, look, uh, Brooke, I'm, I'm sorry. I... You are coming to the Crystal Ball. Oh, yes, of course. I have a great dress that I want to show off. And uh, maybe you'll save me a dance or two. Certainly. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, <laughs> even though Eric escapes divinely, I do have to get home to my son. Just, just one, take a moment and, and explain something to me. If I can. Uh, well, I, um, I, I, I was very surprised and pleased by your invitation. And it's, uh, I just remember that we, well, that you did not want us to dance. <laughs> I know, that's, that's what I said to you. And the only reason that I said that was... I was a fool. I would uh, choose a very inappropriate time to bring up the subject of our dating. Been through that harrowing experience. Well, you know, I didn't know whether I was coming or going. And I should have known that it wasn't going to last forever. Maybe I should have told you to bring the subject up again later. 
think you should have done that anyway. Maybe you should have. Guess I uh, was the fool. Listen up. I'll see you tonight, okay? Yeah, you will. If Erica keeps showing off skating like that, maybe she'll spin a little hole right in the ice. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I'll see you. Oh! oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I didn't mean to startle you. I no. surprised your car down the road. Do you need me for something? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I need your opinion on something. I mean, Jack's been... Jack's been calling me constantly from Lily's bedside. Is she okay? Is she worse? Yeah, it's nothing like that. No, it's... It's when... It comes to this Kit Fisher case, Jack is losing his... He's lost his objectivity. Mm. Do you feel Miss Fisher's story is credible? Derek, there is no doubt in my mind that Kit Fisher was raped Halloween night. Excuse me. Yeah, Fry. Yeah, good. That was forensics. The DNA just came in on Ryan Lavery. We're about to get some answers. Tradition, fruitcake for Santa. Fruitcake? Not even Santa likes fruitcake. Here is a tradition that everybody loves. Season's greetings from all my children. On the next All My Children. Something's wrong, now tell me what it is. Dixie doesn't need a ride. She's going with me. I did not rape Kit Fisher. If you have doubts, we can't stay here. So is that uh, brother of yours around? 